A recovery center up in flames after a fire broke out inside early this morning. And dozens of people now left with nowhere to go. CBS News Miami's Terry Hornstein is in Fort Lauderdale with what fire officials are now saying. More than 60 people forced out of their homes. And as you can see behind me, the damage here, extensive. Fire rescue called to this scene out of Fort Lauderdale Recovery Center off of Southwest 20th Avenue and 4th Street early Monday morning. The heat was intense and it's right next to my house. Stacy Mahler lives next door and says she was fast asleep at home with her daughter when the fire started. We heard a pounding on the front doors and a pounding on all the windows and the back windows and the back door. Stacy says it was firefighters coming to warn her about the fast moving flames. There's a fire next door and the roof's about to cave in and you guys need to get out now. Fort Lauderdale Fire Rescue Chief Stephen Golan says more than 60 people had to be pulled from the building while crews worked to stop the fire from spreading. When you see that much fire, off, often there's panicking and stuff that takes place, and, and that results in quick decisions, which sometimes result in, in accidents taking place. We were terrified. We were absolutely, we were, were actually literally falling down, trying to get our stuff together to get out of the house. It took about an hour to get the flames put out, but about a third of the building was destroyed. Uh, the challenge that we have with those early morning fires is they're not, uh, they're not called in as quickly because most time people are asleep. The chief says, though, he is thankful it wasn't worse. To have absolutely no injuries with that many people in a building with that much fire is, is awesome. The owners were not up for talking. As for the cause of the fire, well, the chief tells me that is still under investigation. In Fort Lauderdale, Terry Hornstein, CBS News, Miami.